Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Here with my sister and my bro. We are here at Swiftwater County Park. We're really just following the trail 1.2 miles to a waterfall and I'll catch you on the trail. So we are walking through this burn area. Basically all of Oregon in 2017 in the summer had a bunch of wildfires. We are near Glide, Oregon. I think they were almost evacuated, if not evacuated completely. It's a small town, but still it was like really scary. It shut down this highway that we were on, Highway 138. Yeah, it was really scary. Across the river there's a whole hillside that's burned too. So I mean, it crossed the river and everything. It's it's so new. I feel like I can smell it. It's very eerie. Can't you smell it? Yeah, but it smells like old campfire. Wow. That is so neat. Okay, so we hit the waterfall and now we're heading back. It was only 1.2 miles from that little county park to the falls on this awesome trail. The trail's really well maintained. So now we're heading back to the car and then we're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna head over to our other two waterfall hikes. guys it's hike Oregon here <laughs> we just arrived at the trailhead let me show you Susan Creek recreation area as you can see here we are here <laughs> anyways guys excited for this hike gonna use my new gear okay I'm done <laughs> uh, the Sun came out I'm so excited and now we're gonna go up Susan Creek it's about a mile to the waterfall and I'm super excited okay so we have a question of the day since I haven't done that in a long time question of the day is what do you like to do for vacation so since the kiddos are on spring break currently me personally I like to go on my yacht and <laughs> go through the Caribbean you know snort some <laughs> get some bitches I can't I can't put that on my YouTube channel <laughs> okay Lucas what do you like doing for spring break Sleeping. Sleeping, yep. Sleep. That's a more realistic goal. <laughs> so guys, the question for you is comment down below. What is your favorite thing to do for vacation? This is probably the biggest madrone tree I've ever yeah, seen in my life. Like madrone trees grow so slowly and that is how big it is. Wow. Does it say something tree. about the madrone tree? The most unique feature is its reddish blueberry bark that peels away, revealing the smooth trunk below. Wow, and I love how it's wrapped around mm -hmm. those trees up there. I love these little plaques. There's plaques like this all over this hike showing us the little flora and fauna 
of the area. Very cute, this hike is super cute. There's like a little picnic bench down there and we are nearing the falls. I can hear them. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. Oh look, there's a little bridge. How neat, wow. Hey guys, it's Hike Oregon here. <laughs> we just made it to the waterfall. As you can see, there's my siblings. Not enjoying the nature, but just trying to get a good photo in. As you can see, it's pretty cold for my gear. I have this nice knitted hat, REI, and then we got this Patagonia raincoat. Just kidding, it's not Patagonia. And then we have some nice mittens made by the, uh, the madre, the mom. If I flip you guys around, we'll see the lovely view that I have right in front of me. Look, is that my sister laughing at me? Huh. A wild Francisca in her natural habitat. And what is she doing? We will never know. Nature baffles us all. But we can only assume that she's trying to get that good, good selfie. Gonna have to uh, check out for now, but um, you'll see us at the end of the trailhead. And since I will have two jobs, I won't get this video up for another three months. We are back at the trailhead. It was 1.3 miles total for this Susan Creek Falls. Super beautiful. Highly recommend this hike if you're in this area. Now we're gonna head to Fall Creek Falls. So catch you there. We're at Fall Creek Falls trailhead. Catch you on the trail. There's lots of people. This waterfall is huge. There's like two tiers of it. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there's so much spray. Holy moly. I'm gonna have to go over here. So there's like a whole nother tier of waterfall up there that you can barely see. Oh my God, it's amazing. That is so neat. From that waterfall, we went uphill a little bit. Are now coming to the upper tier of the waterfall that you can't really see from the bottom. I mean, you can a little bit, but it's really hard because of the spray. This is neat. Oh, there's like more than one. It's like a whole nother tier right there. That's neat. And you, can, and you can see it go over the edge. Okay, let's go a little further up. to the top and it's literally a road so you know definitely could have driven but walking's fun 
Look at this cute little field. So picturesque. And then you look and there's a tier of the waterfall. And then a drop to imminent death. Imminent, imminent death. So here you can kind of see the two layers of the waterfall. So here's one, and then there's that upper tier that we were just at. And then like up here, there's another little tier that comes down. So it's a quite the large waterfall. Okay guys, we're back at the car. This was by far the most scenic short hike I have probably ever been on. We actually ended up hiking 1.6 miles because we went all the way up to the top. So it's 0.9 to the lower waterfall and then another 0.3 up to the but worth it. middle one. So, so scenic. I mean, there's so many things. It's just amazing. So thank you so much for joining all of us on this adventure. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next adventure.